Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another tutorial. Today we will see how to add MicroDeck router in Genesis 3 and work in VMware Workstation environment. For this task, we need to download few software. Genesis 3 2.1.15, Genesis 3 VM, VMware Workstation 15.5 Pro, MicroD Cloud Hosted Router Raw Image. I will install Genesis 3 2.1.15 Wii application on Windows 10 and Genesis 3 VM on VMware Workstation 15 Pro. This is the recommended way to run Genesis 3 VM. We will then integrate Genesis 3 VM with Genesis 3 GUI. Now at first we will download Genesis 3 2.1.15 software. We open the browser. We can download it either from Genesis 3 official website or from GitHub. It's free. This version 2.1.15. Click here. Okay, you can see this is our software Genesis 3 2.1.15 all in one not exe another one we have to download is this one Genesis 3 vm vmware workstation 2.1.15 zip file it should be the same version as Genesis 3 gui software to work it properly I've already downloaded this software, so I will just cancel the download, okay? Cancel. Now I will download VMware Workstation Pro. Okay, we have to go to the official website of VMware. VMware.com And from the store, VMware Workstation 16 Pro. So we have purchased this VMware Workstation 16 Pro. I will use VMware Workstation 15.5 Pro. Okay, I will put all this download link in my video description. Now we will download Microtik CHR image. Okay, we have to go to the Microtik website, microtik.com slash download. Scroll down and look for the cloud hosted router. This one, cloud hosted router. And we will download raw disk image and the stable version. Click on the download. Okay, I will pause the video here to finish the download. Okay, our download is completed. Now it's time to install everything. First, Genesis 3. So we go to my folder, and this is my Genesis 3 2.1.15. Double click on it. Click next. Click I agree. Installing Genesis 3 is just straightforward. And tick these boxes, Word Weaver 7.0, click next, click install. So I'll pause the video here to complete the installation. Okay, our installation is completed, click next. We don't need this, so click no, click next. Okay, click finish. Now we will install VMware, this one. Okay, click next. I accept, click next. Don't need this, click next. Don't need update. Click next. Take this box. We don't need any shortcut in desktop. Okay, click next. Click install. It's a straightforward installation. I'll pause the video here to complete the installation. Okay, you can put the license key here if you have, or click just finish. Now we will open VMware. We have to integrate our Genesis VM here. Okay, if you have the license key, you can put it here. 
or you can select this option I want to try VMware Workstation 15 for 30 days continue okay, now we will have to click this one open a virtual machine now select this genus VM that you have downloaded the same version 2.1.15 same version with your genus 3 GUI of application click open now browse the location for this virtual machine okay I have already created a folder for genus 3 VM I will just select and locate it there it is okay now click import Okay, now we will change few settings here. So click on edit virtual machine settings. First of all, memory, we have to select it 4 GB. Okay, processor, one processor and the four core. And the network adapter, host only, fine. The second adapter, I will select this option, bridge replicate physical network connection click ok now I will open GNS3 again now click on edit click preference select this one GNS3 VM tick this box enable the GNS3 VM VM name fine and run the VM in headless mode. Tick this box too. In the RAM section, I will select 4096, which is 4G RAM. Everything is fine. Just click apply. You can see our GNS3 VM is starting. Just wait. You can see our GNS3 VM is running now. Okay. I will go back to edit again click on preferences you can check another thing click on the VMware workstation pro click on the genus VM and see this is the IP address it is getting 192.168.92.128 open genus again now we'll have to add our micro router select this options chemo vms click new the recommended way to run chemo on windows and OS X is to use it on genus 3 vm so we will select this option run this chemo vm on the genus 3 vm click next you can put anything you can give any name you want okay. click next Keep the default memory size here click next tell net fine click next we have to do another thing we'll go to our download folder and the image that we have downloaded we have to unzip it extract we need this file this disk image file okay go back to our genus 3 vm now browse click on the download this is our image file 6.48.3 chl click open now click finish now change a few things so we will just click on edit in the network section we will Increase few adapters, five adapters, and the settings. This is the routers, and we will change the symbol as well. This is the symbol. I select this one. Now, okay, click on apply and then okay. Now we will create a new project. So you can give anything now click here and look for your microtech router 
that you have installed this one drag here drag another micro tick in this window now connect this with the cable it's actually the ether one port to see the interface level just click here it will show okay now we will start right click here and click on console so our micro router is ready to use that's it that's how you can make your own micro cloud so please do subscribe my channel for more videos thanks for watching